So what's going on here today? So I'm thrilled to launch Open Door. It's the first immersive retail experience we've ever had, not on the highstreet.com. We called it Open Door because we're really opening the doors on what is a fabulous and exciting British business. And it's part of celebrating our 10th birthday. And what we have today is showcasing everything that is not on the high street. We've got the breadth of categories. We've got workshops that you can go and take part in from knitting and pom-pom making and screen printing demonstrations from our partners around knitting and artistry and a chance for the first time to buy products from the website from over a hundred of our partners across all the categories that we sell. How does it feel to be here today? Wow. Um, it's, 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 it's all that we dreamed of and more really. It's, it's something that I think we always imagined as part of the big picture when we founded the business and the, the very roots of, of what the business is all about which is the, the creativity and the fun and the imagination and the whole experience of, of working with, with these very sort of talented um, small creative businesses. We worked across so many different mediums. We, we were in, you know, over the years we've been in, we, we went into catalogues and um, we've done so many things. Um, and I think um, certainly this is part of the dream, but it is just so much, so much more and so much more exciting to be really here. And it's just incredible that the team have pulled it off. It's important to have a physical event like this because actually if you go back to what customers are looking for, they're looking for great experiences when they shop, not just the pure transaction, but something that tells them a bit more about where their products are from. And the offline experience you know, is an incredibly important part of that. Customers love the discovery and the inspiration of products through our site and through our apps. They also love to be able to touch and feel and see the breadth of what we sell in one place. And so this is the very first time we've done it. We're going, to do, uh, we're going to learn lots from it this weekend, but it'll be the start of something really exciting for Not On The High Street in the future. I think what, what we are about is, is, the, is the blend, that, that kind of perfect sweet spot where traditional skills and natural kind of human entrepreneurial talent and ambition and flair is, is, is meets the platform and the enablement of, of technology. And I think for as long as we keep doing that and we keep working with the best and the most current creative talent and the best and most current technology, we will continue to deliver in the way that we have always set out to do. You know, my belief is that this isn't just about sales, that actually what retailers have to do is create great experiences for customers, whether those experiences are online or through the app or in the offline world. And all of those experiences and content that might be on-site or off-site are all coming together to actually help customers understand who we are, what we're about, so that when they do want to buy something in the future, we're front of mind and they understand what they're going to get from us. All I know is that when we started the business, we knew that it was that the potential was just absolutely limitless. Um, and it still feels that way. And we've done so much over the years and we've grown so much over the years. But we, we, we just know that there's not, a, there's not a sector, there's not a part of the world, there's not, a, there's not a kind of a delivery or experience that isn't relevant to, what, to our proposition, which is, which is bringing the very, very best of small creative businesses and um, talent to the, the customers who just absolutely love them. So it just feels more limitless than ever. The, the space in, in Oxford Street is a thousand square feet and for us to really kind of build this kind of curated experience, it had to be you know, this size. You know, we've got four spaces in here, a sleep zone, a, a kitchen area, home monitoring and whilst you're away. 